What's up, everyone? Kawaii Ku here to react to episode 4 of Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. Last episode, we left off the Tortoise, the gang, and the other nation's armies have finally fought the Tortoise. They hit him with all kinds of artillery and all types of firepower. But at the end of the episode, Raftalia and Philo have managed to finally cut the Taurus's head off and it looks like the day is saved and uh, the now Fumi and his gang emerge victorious once again. Or is it really that simple? Because as we have learned at the end of the last episode that the Tortoise, the 20 FPS CGI Tortoise, <laughs> may not actually be dead. So yeah, let's see where that goes. Oh man, yeah, that, that last episode, it was, uh, it caused, it was pretty infamous for that shot of the CGI tortoise. That 20 FPS CGI tortoise. Uh, and I must admit, I, I laughed at, a, at it too because good lord. Good lordy lordy lord. Wait, let's see if we're going to get any gems like that in this episode. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright y'all, here we go. Episode 4 of Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. So let's look at Rishia backstory. One day. What? So that's why you fell in love with him. But why did he save you? And why does he treat you like shit right now? I think it's entirely possible that, well, of course, this is just speculation on my part. Uh, it might be revealed very soon, later on. But I think it's entirely possible that Itsuki did not rescue her out of the goodness of his own heart. Like, it's entirely possible that this is just, he was just doing some sort of, like, commission or whatever. And he doesn't actually want to genuinely help her. I mean, if he did, then why would she, why would he abandon her? in the first place. Why was she forced to join Nafumi's gang? So this is, yeah, this, okay, so this is before the great battle. Oh, but poor girl. Of course she would cling on to the one who saved her, no matter who it be. But still, I mean, Itsuki clearly doesn't like you. Thank you. 
But you did. The gravity powers came in handy quite a bit. What is it? What is this? No, this is before. Okay, I'm confused. Are we in present day right now, or? <laughs> well, I certainly don't blame him, I guess. Because you're hot. <laughs> that has to be one of the reasons, at least. <laughs> and because you're hot. Also, you're voiced by Kana Hanazawa, so that obviously earns high points in anyone's book. <laughs> Balls on this man. Mm. Demo. <laughs> I mean...
if he even wants your help. Oh, he even he senses. He, he, he even he senses it. You know, I just re realized something. What has Rishia done as aside from putting... Has she done anything? Like, aside from putting on the Philo suit? I don't remember her doing anything in the last episode. I could be very wrong. Oh, that's a whole... Whoa! Oh, wow, that village has seen better days. Ah, yes. Oh, there you go. You're praying. <laughs> I guess that's the first step to making yourself a little bit more useful. Oh shit! Oh, even she, ooh. It's taking, yeah, it's taking a toll on Eclair, even though she is supposed to be like, this battle-hardened warrior or whatever. But I guess it's as if Rishia said, I guess you can't really get used to something like this.
Oh, so I guess that's our purpose in the team. Well, there we go. Now we have a use for her. Now she's not completely useless. But is that all she's gonna be? Just a translator? Manipulate key? Okay. So she has good, so she does have good combat abilities. I would like to see that. Oh shit. That's what he said. Oh, there goes the temple. Oh, well, they can always build another one, right? <laughs> okay, so this is after they, they killed the tortoise. Okay, okay. Well, this is nice to see. Rishi again, that confidence. <laughs> it 
says the girl that literally just chopped a, a, tur a turtle's head off. Come on, girl. <laughs> hey, he's asking important questions. Uh, you're a little, you're like a, a little bit behind there, girl. What are you crying about? I guess she's not a hardened warrior just yet, but... Whoa! Who the fuck is this guy? Jesus Christ, dude! You're lucky in Raftali I didn't fucking decapitate your ass. Good lord. Press X to doubt. Actually, is that Jun Fukuyama's voice? Oh, I think, yeah, I think it is. You need that whole incantation for a lie detector? <laughs> Yeah, I remember them. I remember him. Sorry, Hayami as well. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh, wait. Glass. Oh. That's right. Jin Fukuyama was in season one as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, now I remember that. Yeah, I remember the red-haired guy. Oh, my God. But I, I forgot he was voiced by Jin Fukuyama. And then, oh, my gosh. I should have immediately recognized... I should have immediately recognized him as soon as I heard Jin Fukuyama's voice. Good Lord. Damn, it's nice to see them again. But why do they have to disguise themselves as, like, someone else? That's what I want to know. But other than that, overall, yeah, it's a pretty decent episode of Rise Against Shield Hero 2, I guess. Definitely not as uh, action-packed as the last episode, and just as uneventful as the previous episodes before. Oh, this one episode, this one was more focused on Rishia. We got Rishia's backstory this episode. And I guess we got to learn a little bit more about her. She apparently knows how to decipher like ancient languages or whatever, and she has the power to manipulate key. So I'm guessing by the sounds of that, she's a great combatant. But I don't remember seeing that in the previous any of the previous episodes. Especially not, like, not, not even in the last episode either, so... Maybe we'll get to see more of that in the future? But even though this was a Rishia-focused episode, she didn't... She still didn't really do much. <laughs> really hoping that would change, though. I mean, because she... I want to say she's a decent character. But... So far, I must say she's... Mm, I don't know, man. 
has she hasn't really been doing much, so hopefully that will change. But we got the return of Lark and Glass and whoever Sayari Yami characters was. I forgot. Um, I know they just mentioned it, but I already forgot. But yeah, we got them again, so yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing um, what exactly they plan on doing now that they have met up with Ralph Talia and now Fumi and the gang once again. I'm guessing they're going to help them uh, take down the tortoise, but we'll, we're just going to wait and see. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support my Patreon. Link is in the description down below. And I will see you guys next time.